Guys, the subject we're going to talk about this evening is called PMA. You can write that down. For those of you who don't follow it, PMA. Hashtag on the bracelet, positive mental attitude. What is that in bass fishing? Well, in, in this next 50 minutes, I'm going to try to break that down. Not only what it's going to be to you in bass fishing, I want to explain to you how it's affected my life. As human beings, it's easy to be drawn into negativity. We spoke about that a little bit earlier. Anybody disagree? Negative people are usually the most outspoken. Negative people usually require and want company. So they almost recruit to be negative. You ever notice that? You got that, buddy? Come on, man. You know this place ain't no good. Come on. Tell them how bad it is. We don't want that. PMA to me changed my life. For you guys that have followed my career some, you know, uh, this, this is going to be a little different than y'all ever heard. I'm just going to go ahead and tell you. I, people want to know what I think the secret of bass fishing is, well, I'm fixing to give it to you. This is how it's going to be all day, ain't it? Always somebody messing with us. You get to the outhouse, run the bathroom, backlash the toilet paper, spin it off the spool, and there you go, mate. I, I, I backlash the toilet paper. That's how it's going to be all day, right there. That's how it's going to be. Same guy gets out there, gets the first bite, whiffs it on the buzz, like, that was a tournament winner right there. Tournament winner, lost it. We're not going to be that guy. I've had to work not to be that guy, and I'm going to encourage you not to be that guy. And let me tell you why. Because as bad as we hate to admit it, and I'm going to speak to the men on this direct, and the women later, because the women are near as bad to it as we are. Men, we have a really hard time admitting when we're wrong. Anybody disagree with that? Your wives are not here. You can say, yeah, I have a little problem with that, G. Trust me. <laughs> Shoot, I'll put you on Facebook. I'll call you out. <laughs> we have a hard time admitting when we're wrong, and we have a hard time changing things because we don't see ourselves in that light. But let me promise you something. If you're fishing, if this, if this man's fishing with this young man, and he's in the boat, and they're fishing a tournament together. Dad is your hero, and when Dad acts a fool, son thinks it's okay to act a fool. I'm just using that as an example. If Dad loses one, and he comes down, with, it's over. What does his son think? My leader just spun out. My leader of my world just spun out. Seems a little serious for bass fishing, don't it? It's a fact. As men... I challenge you to be better men. What PMA done in my life, it made me a better husband, it made me a better father, then it made me a better fisherman. See where I'm going? There is no thing called a zone, men. We all in here taking notes. You're going to listen to some of the most driven, most successful bass fishermen in the world. You know the trick? It's right here. I try not to get too deep into things that meant that much to me because you can tell it was the lowest lows of my life to, to get to lose your loved one, to lose my best fishing partner, my biggest fan ever. And when all my buddies was catching them, I was making funeral arrangements. I struggled, guys. I struggled to get the pieces back together. But you can do it, and I did it, and I did it by learning the main reason I was off the page was internally. I was looking for an excuse. The excuse was in the mirror. It's the man in the mirror, son. Get your head out of your butt. Be a little bit more positive and deal with it. It's this life. That started resonating on the water so many more times. I've lost fish this year, and at the time, at Wisconsin, day three, here's the difference in being in the zone and not being focused about the negative. I pull in an area, and I catch two or three big smallmouth in a row. I throw my spook up there and clack, 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 clack. <laughs> Good, biggest bite you ever had. He missed it, he bites it again. I start reeling him in, he gets right here to my feet, and a five pound smallmouth <coughs> jumps end over in and come off. I just reeled it in. Kept throwing, kept throwing. About two hours later, I'm idling back up through there, and I said, I'm gonna ease over here by this rock. <laughs> five pound smallmouth, exact same fish, I caught him. How easy would it have been to wreck off right then? How easy? That same exact tournament at one o'clock on day three, one o'clock. One o'clock, I got me one fish stick. Weighs about 13 ounces. Looked like Iconelli, just long and skinny. <laughs> I mean, if you rubbed his tail, he'd barely hit the board. I had one. I didn't have a lot of places to fish. I'd caught every bass I caught out of one area, one basic area. I had a 25-minute idle out of there. And I said, well, what are you going to do? 
here's a good time. You could panic. You could hit the, you could hit the red alert button, just start hitting the panic button, or you can think about what you're going to do. My key to reeling it back in, guys, it's going to sound crazy. I sit down and eat me a sandwich. I do. I just lay everything down. Sit down on the front deck. I get my sandwich out. Get my little old diet do out. And I just sit there and look around. You know why? I'm trying to bring it back down. I'm trying to bring it back because everything's starting to spinning out of control. You've been out there fishing. When it feels like it's coming at you 100 mile an hour, you're like, Doc rocks, Doc rocks. Get, who get, uh -uh. No, 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 no. Bring it down. Bring it down. So I'm bring, I eat that sandwich. I ate my sandwich. I start idling out. The guy said, well, what you got, Gerald? I said, I'm going to ease out on the river and throw top water. Well, by the time I get out there, it's 140. Sun shining straight down. But I'd had two bites there. I caught 15 pounds off that wall. Made the top 12, which was one of the most monumental days of the whole AOI chase that nobody ever seen. Ever. But at 1.30, son, I was backed against the wall. I'm talking about I was Ronda Rousey backed against the wall. I done took some licks, and that's bad. But I had a choice to make. Wheeler Lake, day three. Day three, Wheeler Lake. I've caught 17 and 17 off the same shell bar on a swim bait. Day three, I got five fish sticks at noon, and I'm telling you, those five would not weigh four pounds if you put my socks in there with them. They were minners. I had exerted all efforts in this creek, but I had made myself a promise. You're not going out past that bridge because you ain't caught nothing out there, so don't go. You're going to make it happen in here, somehow, somewhere, something. You're going to do something in here. It got a little cloudy. I hadn't fished shallow. I told my marshal, I said, well, here it goes. I'm going to try something a little different. Welcome to Bass University TV, an online video training course where you'll learn champion bass fishing techniques from pro anglers Pete Gluzek, Mike Iaconelli, and their talented special guests. From on the water to in the classroom, you'll learn sound techniques and strong fundamental bass fishing skills. Watch hours of video content on multiple topics at your own pace for a low monthly fee. Cancel at any time. Information is power in the sport of fishing. So learn from the very best. Subscribe to Bass University TV today.